Hi guys, Data Feeder have just released a brand new API. They've called it version 4, and basically it's just a raw product feed um, that lets you really use the data any way you like, which is really, really exciting stuff, especially if you're a store or an online affiliate because it means you get access to the actual core data um, without having to go through any of their user interfaces, etc. So I want to quickly demonstrate what we've what we've tried to do with this new API and show you how to create affiliate stores really really quickly using the new system. So firstly I'm going to I've gone ahead and created a brand new installation of WordPress. So this is the kind of the WordPress 3.6 and it's right out of the box so I've just installed it on a brand new um, setup. I'm going to go into the admin area and the theme and appearances. I'm going to go ahead and activate our premium press theme. I'm going to go ahead and enter all my details. Okay, and I'm going to quickly skip through all the instruction options that we have within the Premium Refresh theme, just for the demonstration purposes of this video. Um, but what I will do is I'm going to set up nice permalinks because I always like to use those when viewing my website. So if we have a quick look at the website now, as you can see we've got this basic shopping cart system with some sample products. So I'm going to go ahead and clean everything out. So I'm going to clean all the products, I'm going to get rid of them all. And I'm going to remove all of the, pro all of the categories as well. So I'm going to use the toolbox options to make it quicker. Okay, so if we have a quick look at the website as it is, we've got a basically a blank shopping cart website and we've literally set up that in a couple of minutes. So now what we're going to do is start filling in the content using the new data feeder API. And what I've done is I've created a new plugin. So under the um, plugin options, you want to find the uh, installation of the data feeder version 4. And if you haven't already uploaded this plugin, you can get it from the Premium Press community forum. Okay, so once you've in, um, activated the plugin, under your theme options, you'll notice there's a new data feeder 4 tab. So if I just click options to, to open up a bit, you can see now we have this data feeder 4. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And this gives you all of the options to start importing your products from the data feeder API. So let me give you a quick overview of what we've done. Um, on the right hand side, you're going to need to enter your API details. So this is your access ID and your, and your secret key. Uh, and you'll get those once you've created an account um, with data feeder. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my details. Okay, and if I scroll onto the bottom, you can see that obviously Data Feeder um, have a lot of network coverage. So there's a lot of networks that you can use with Data Feeder, which is really, really useful. Um, but for this video tour, I'm just going to use um, one that I'm familiar with, which is Commission Junction. And um, personally, I like them because they've got such um, a vast variety of products that it makes it a lot easier to um, to create um, websites with more data very quickly. So I'm going to jump over to my uh, Commission Junction account and grab my ID. Okay, I'm going to scoot back then to my, my website and I'm just going to select Commission Junction from the drop down. And I'm just going to enter my ID in there. Okay, so that's it. That's my kind of initial setup already done. So my API details are in there and I've set up um, an affiliate access to, um, for Commission Junction. Now you need to set up this uh, affiliate um, ID option here because what we're going to do here is search for products based in any of the, uh, the network that I've selected. So by entering a Commission Junction ID here, I've told the system that I'm only going to be searching for products in Commission Junction. And that way then you don't get products from other affiliate networks that you're not affiliated with and therefore you don't get any commission. So now I can start doing my um, product imports. So I'm going to, um, if you look at my website, we've got a nice lady here with a handbag. So I'm going to go ahead and start importing handbags. So I'll start with a basic option. So we've got hand, handbag. And if I just do a quick search to verify that the products are there, as you can see now, 643 handbags in Commission Junction, which is great. Some beautiful handbags there. Now, I can go ahead and click the one by one. So if I click on save, it's going to import it. And I can confirm it's been imported just by viewing my products. As you can see there, now I've got this brand new handbag. And if I view the website as it is, I can, uh, this is what it looks like straight away after clicking on that um, save products. I've got this beautiful information about the handbag, the price, and obviously if I click on add to cart, then I'm going to go straight to the uh, affiliate website. And there we go, and that obviously includes my affiliate ID and everything. So I would get commission then um, if this per if a user or a visitor to my website purchased that product. So that's that's kind of wow, you know, we've got this product straight on our website already. But I want to see this is a manual process so far, so I'm going to click each one, which is no good. So let me just give you an, another great ad option that's built into it. If I typed in again handbag, 
Okay, and um, I scroll down, there's some other cool options at the bottom here. We've got this auto import all products. Now, as you can imagine, that's really going to do what it says. It's going to import all of the products that it, it finds. So you might want to quickly verify everything first is the way you want it. So I've got price range, so I can set my own price range. I can sort by, well, if I'm going to import everything anyway, the sort by doesn't really matter. We've got um, a page and items per page. Now, um, affiliate, the data feeder affiliate, um, they can display up to 100 products per page, I believe. So you can modify that, obviously, if you want to. But again, since I'm going to be importing all of the products anyway, it's not really going to make much of a difference. Uh, a default save category, well, if I go ahead and create categories from my website, if I wanted to import them separately, then I could do, I could select them. Now, since this is a brand new website and I've just deleted all the categories, there's none there. So what I'm going to ask the system to do is automatically create the categories that are assigned to the products in the data feed. So hopefully that's going to go ahead and create all of the categories from it, which is obviously excellent. And the second option here is I'm going to go ahead and import this. Now, I like to verify everything first, so I do a quick run without the uh, auto import just to make sure I've got some products. So I'm going to click that. Okay, so I've got 600 products. So, yeah, everything looks great. So I'm just click on new search again. All my options are still saved at the bottom. So this time I'm just going to click on auto import and click search products. Now what's going to happen is the system every few minutes is going to import a new product automatically. So I'm not touching anything, I'm not going anywhere. As you can see, the products are removing themselves from the list. And what that's doing is it's automatically importing that product for you. And it's going to go through every single one of these products that you find within your search query. So as if you can view at the top 643 products in, in the search query, and it's going to go through every single one of them products and import them all for you. So I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to run for a little bit, uh, and then I'll stop it so that you can see what's happened. So here we go. It's going to the bottom. Oh, why is this showing you at the bottom? You can see your API requests and all of your API uh, details for your um, data feed API are displayed at the bottom as well. There we go. So it's finished through that list. It's going to automatically reload itself. There we go. Page two. So it's going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing until it's reached all of the products that are available. Okay, so for the purpose of this, is, uh, this video tutorial, I'm just going to stop this now. Okay, and I'm going to go back to my, um, my my website. I'm going to go back to the home page. If I go on here, click on the home page. As you can see now, I've got loads of products already imported. Look at that, brilliant. And if I go to my admin area under the product management, as you can see now, it's imported all of the bags and everything here as well. Okay, so obviously one thing we did set was the categories. So if I click on categories, with, with uh, WordPress, you have to refresh it every now and again when you've just done a mass import. So there, as you can see now, it's automatically set up all the categories that are assigned to those products. So we've got clothing, we've got shoes and accessories, Halloween, etc. So those are the product, those are the categories that are assigned to those handbag categories. So they're automatically set up for you and assigned. So that's really just a quick demonstration of how to use the new Data Feeder 4 um, API and the Premium Press um, plugin tool for it. Enjoy.